Hey guys, it's me Sylvia back with another video and today I'm bringing you guys a get ready with me style video where I do my makeup, hair, and outfit. But this isn't just a regular get ready with me, okay? This is for the holiday events, for the parties, for the dinners, for something holiday related where you gotta get glam but maybe you don't have a lot of time. So I'm showing you guys my go-to glam when I don't have time to shower. I don't have three hours to get ready like I normally would and it's gotta be chop chop but you still gotta look picture ready by the end of it. So this is what this look is right here. The makeup look is basically a beautiful cut crease copper lid with a very festive blackberry lip and I'll show you guys how to do this very sleek celebrity inspired low ponytail and also a cute outfit to go with the two and I quickly want to say that I am partnering up with Sephora collection for this video I can't wait to show you guys some of their products but wait before we go ahead and get started go ahead and subscribe to my channel down below if you're not subscribed already and of course hit that like button because the holidays are here spread Christmas cheer hey that rhymed that rhyme. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. So you can see I already have my foundation, concealer, and my brows on, and that's because in this video I'm just assuming that you already have like the basic makeup on, and you're like coming from work or errands, and you have to quickly spruce up your makeup to get to that holiday event. So let's just jump right into the eyes and then touch up our face makeup after. So first I'm gonna use some translucent powder from Laura Mercier, and I'm just gonna dab that right underneath my eyes, just so then the fallout from any eyeshadow can be easily swept away after. That's a really good tip if you already have your face makeup on or concealer on. This is gonna make it so much easier to clean up any of that fallout. So you always want to prime your lids even when you're in a rush. So I'm going to use Benefit's Air Patrol Eye Primer just to set all over my lids. This is going to give us a blank canvas and this is just going to make sure that your eyeshadow is going to stay put the entire time you're out. Now that you have your eyeshadow primer on, go ahead and set it with some sort of powder. That way your eyeshadows are going to blend very, very easily. They're not going to get stuck to the primer and it'll save you a lot of time in the end. So I'm going to be using the shade Tempera from the Modern Run. I can't say that. Oh my god, modern renaissance. So I'm gonna be using the shade Tempera from the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm just gonna dust that all over the lid using the Sephora 38 brush. Right up to the brow bone. Now using Champagne Pop, I'm gonna highlight my brow bone and also my inner corner. I'm gonna be using the Sephora Collection Beauty Amplifier Spray, and this is really gonna intensify the highlight. I'm gonna highlight my brow bone and also my inner corner, and I'm using number 15 brush from Sephora to apply that. Now I'm gonna take Blackjack from the Urban Decay Ultimate Basics Palette. Now I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna use it to trace what would be like our big wing on the outer corner here. Because we're doing like a cut crease look, it's easier to use an eyeshadow first to make sure you don't make any mistakes, especially if you're in a rush, and then begin to create the shape of the cut crease. I'm using a thin eyeliner brush for this. To make them identical, it's easier to look straight directly into the mirror, so that way you can see the crease on both your lids. Now that you have the outline done, you can go ahead and fill it in with that same black eyeshadow. Don't worry if your outline isn't perfect because we're gonna go ahead and blend and fix it all up later. Now I'm gonna go in with Magnet from the same Naked Basics palette and I'm gonna use that to create a gradient effect with the black. Using the Sephora number 15 brush, just dabbing motions to create a nice gradient and just blend the two colors together. So now we're ready to add a little bit of copper, a little bit of glitter because what is a holiday makeup look without some glitter, am I right? I'm gonna be using the Sephora Collection Retractable Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil and glitter copper. It's a beautiful copper color and it has like glitter in it. I'm obsessed. So apply it all over your lid, all the way in the inner corner there, and then customize the end result by using the little smudger on the end here. So that's what's gonna help it to blend into our smoky eye and just keep it from creating any harsh lines. I love this liner because it's retractable so I never have to sharpen it and it's so creamy. It just glides right on the lid. And I'm gonna go in with the Tardis Clay Paint Eyeliner. We're gonna go in with a cat eye. That's gonna give us a little bit more drama and really wrap up the eye look. Moving on to our lower lash line, I'm gonna line my waterline with the Sephora Collection Retractable Waterproof Eyeliner again, but this time in glitter black. I love these eyeliner pencils for the holidays because they have like glitter infused in them. So you don't have to use glitter glue, none of that. You don't make a mess. You just apply it right to your eye and little glitter specks like attached to it. And this pencil is also good for the waterline because it is waterproof, which is what you need. You don't wanna be looking like a raccoon by the end of the night. Now with the end of the pencil, I'm gonna use the little smudging tool to smudge out the waterline and to smoke out our lower lash line. Now I'm gonna take Tempted from the Urban Decay Ultimate Basics palette and I'm gonna use that to smoke out the lower lash line just a little bit more. And I'm using a pencil brush to do that. Perfect, now we're completely done with the eyeshadow. Time to take off our powder. And I'm using the Sephora 79 brush to do that. Now even though we use black, you see that there's absolutely no fallout left over after we wipe away the powder. Now I'm gonna go in with the Sephora Collection Lash Craft Mascara. I'm only gonna apply that on my lower lash line because I have lash extensions on. So this mascara is jet black and it's unique because it has like a two-sided flat paddle wand. 
Now I'm gonna throw on some falsies. I do have lash extensions on, but I want this look to be very, very dramatic. So I'm gonna go in with the Sephora Collection Core Lashes and Audacious number 21. These are a full volume set of lashes that have like a dense middle section. So it gives you more of like a sultry, eye-opening look. Look how much drama the eyelashes added. It's crazy. Next up is lips. I wanted to do a very festive lip color. So I'm using the Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain in Blackberry Sorbet. So this is a silky long lasting lip stain that keeps your lips covered from the morning to the night. There's no need to like reapply or touch up throughout the day, which is why it's such a great last minute choice. Now I'm gonna contour using the Anastasia kit. I'm using Sephora's number 79 brush. Just placing that in the hollows of my cheeks and around the perimeter of my forehead. Now I'm gonna finish up the face using the Champagne Pop highlighter right on my cheekbones. To set everything in place, I'm gonna use the Sephora Beauty Amplifier Setting Spray. So now it's time for our hair. You can see my hair is just a hot mess, but it's time to glam it up with something super simple and very, very quick. All you have to do is start by parting your hair in the center. Pull it all back like you're gonna tie it into a low pony, but don't tie it quite yet. Tuck it all behind your ear and then begin to brush it back flat to your head. Once your hair is relatively flat, you should be able to tie it up into a low pony. And if your hair is greasy, like you didn't have time to shower, this hairstyle actually works better when your hair has some natural oil to it. So it's great for when you're in a rush and you want to still look glam. If you really want it to be tight, you can add two hair ties to your ponytail. Now you see I have a bunch of flyaways. I have a lot of broken hair. So to take care of that, I'm going to use a toothbrush and some hairspray. Okay, it's stuck. It's stuck. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's stuck. It won't stop crisis situation. Anyways, at least the toothbrush is soaked. Now I'm gonna run that all along my flyaways. And then also to get rid of your sideburns, it's a really great tip to use the toothbrush and tuck it behind your ear. This might look a little bit better if you don't have your roots growing in, but don't judge me guys. And that's really all there is to it. Now you have a glamorous low ponytail that took like three minutes to do. Now that my hair and makeup's done, it's time to get on our cute outfit. So by this point, you're probably running late. It's best to just go throw on something that you've worn in previous years. So this is the outfit I just threw on. It has some sequins. It's very, very glam. It'll go with our glamorous makeup and our sleek ponytail. It's something that I had in the back of my closet that I had worn in a previous year. So I knew that it would work, it would look good. And it took absolutely no time at all to pick out. So if you wanna save time, I recommend you do the same thing and you just grab something that you've worn before and you know it's gonna look amazing so that's the end of the video you guys this is the finished glamorous holiday look that i came up with i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did don't forget to hit the like button down below and of course subscribe and join the s club if you're not subscribed already because i love my s club so subscribe and as always all of the products mentioned will be in the description bar down below so go check it out and happy holidays everybody i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye Mwah. Bye. I'm just gonna try it on my face because, you know, I go hard. Oh, that sounds exactly like an exfoliator, actually.